Who are you? So, I'm Neil Lickman, I'm the CEO of Zeltus. Yeah, and uh, you're with? Hi, I'm Steve Francis, and I'm the Chief Sales and Marketing Officer Excellent. for Zeltus. Cool. So, what do you guys do? I mean, you're about to show me an iPhone app, so I get a little clue that you do something on mobile phones. Well, on, on mobile phones and on desk phones, we're a global provider of unified communication systems and IP phone systems. And, and that's Geek Talk for? That, that's for phone systems that allow you to communicate with other people, collaborate with other people, whether it be on the web or presentations, uh, video conferencing, or mobility app applications as well. Very cool. So what, what does your system do that I can't just do with the phone dialer in the iPhone or an Android phone? That's great. I'll show you right now on, okay. on, on this. If you take a look at this, this can show you everybody in your company and the status of them. So Lean is available. Let's get somebody that's on the phone. Okay, J John's busy. Uh, Chanel's at lunch right now. Yeah. So I can see their status in their presence. You know, so whether they're in meetings like and so forth. Could we have presence in, in other online apps like Skype and... Okay, well, this, this, this is real-time presence at, at their desk and, and their status. And if I wanted to communicate with them, all I have to do is, is select that person and I can IM directly to their desktop from, from my phone or I can press so, it. So let's say we used it at Rackspace and let's say that guy over there had it on his... What does he have on his desktop that's he, he would, talking he would, to your <clears throat> He would have a unified communications client that gives him all the capabilities of phone plus the ability to IM chat. He could start an IM with somebody, go to a voice call, and then add video to that call as well. And that client probably runs on Windows and Mac? It, exactly. So and it Linux. Is, and it run, Linux. runs Linux, Mac, and, and Windows. So it's something that shows up on their desktop. Right. And does it automatically sense that I'm not at my desktop, or do, or do I have to actually do it like Skype where I'm no, available that, or not available or that, something? That's great. After so much time of inactivity, it will automatically switch you into a different status. Okay. And you can program those statuses as well, and the time frame that you want it to show you is inactive and change your status at that point. Does it hook into any of the other information systems that I use? For instance, I, I use Google uh, Calendar. Mm -hmm. Does it hook into something like that or does it hook into Exchange Calendar? <laughs> These guys all use Exchange Calendar. I use Google Calendar. Okay, well, let's talk about Exchange. Okay, <laughs> I, I use Exchange. <laughs> most, people, most people I hear at Rackspace do because we're a, a big Exchange shop. Right, so it, it automatically syncs with Exchange. And with your Outlook, it can do the same thing. It could show you that, that you're into a meeting. It can change your presence. Uh, you can see all your contacts on there as well. You can dial from it. So it's fully integrated with, with Outlook and with Exchange. So your emails, uh, your voicemails can go to your email. And, and you can listen to them then or, or read the emails, whatever the case is. So this is meant for big businesses, like Rackspace is 4,000 employees. You, you, you want that kind of business? It's not well, meant for I, little... No, I, I love the 4,000 <laughs> user business, but no, we, we actually focus anywhere from 10 users to 10,000 users okay. and everybody in between. And what's great is in today's market, and you look at the economy and what's going on, it's a tremendous amount of mobile workers. There's a tremendous amount of what we call distributed workforce, where you would have people either in different parts of the country that work in a call center, where the call center could be based in San Francisco, but you have workers in Indiana or Illinois or New York or Atlanta or Arkansas working from their home. So it's a lower cost of, uh, in lower employee costs at that point. Yeah. And they can be hooked into the system just by plugging the phone in or their laptop in to the network. No VPNs required. And it's as if they were sitting right over here at this desk. Yeah. They have all the same capabilities. So normally you find in a remote worker that they have limited capabilities. You know, they can make a phone call, receive a phone call, but they don't get all the other capabilities full capabilities as if they were right there in the office with everybody And else. do you charge per seat then, or yeah. how do you guys make money? It's a, it's a user license. Yeah. So uh, you, you get a user license, and then depending on what you want and what you you need, you can add licenses for different capabilities. So it's it, it's you pay for what you need now, and if you need something later, you, you can always add it. But there are certain things that are built in there. Are hundreds of different capabilities. For instance, there's a fax server built into it. Uh, this mobility app is, is one of the capabilities that comes with the system. 
If you need more users on it, you can. And this is available on Android and iPhone. Android, iPhone, and BlackBerry, all all three of them. So you 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 can make calls from here. You can do conference calls. uh, You can put somebody on hold. So let's say I'm in Los Angeles and I put somebody on hold, and you're in San Francisco. You can pick it up in San Francisco. No, very cool. On on the system. So. Uh, just tremendous flexibility. So it makes you. Do you have you a separate app for iPad as well? Yeah, a lot of people it runs on iPad. iPad as well. Okay, yeah. a lot of people are bringing iPads to meetings now and, right. and traveling with them. Exactly, and it runs on iPad as well. Yeah, very cool. So just totally flexible. So now we ha- uh, now we have this system. Does it do any other collaboration types? Can I work on a document with you or do some funky stuff like that? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. You can do. Uh, well, we could do video conferencing together. We could do uh, docs together. So if we had a doc on there, I could turn control over to you. You can make a presentation. You could put notes on it and so forth. Uh, edit those docs while we're together. So just a web conference with voice, video, and data all running at the same time. Yeah. Now, I know you have a lot of competition. They, they might not have cool mobile apps yet, but uh, what's the competitive space for you guys? Well, we compete against uh, Cisco. We compete against Avaya. We compete against Mitel. And we compete against Shortel. Yeah. The, those uh, four. These are not small companies. little startups that are easy no, to not, squash. No, not, not at all. <laughs> but, but, but what we believe our advantage is, is when you look at a total cost ownership, first of all, everything that I'm talking about right now, the license, the hardware, and everything is in one box. So, you know, we, we say that it's all in one, and we mean it's all in one. It's yeah. all in one 2U rack mounted box where our competitors stack boxes together. Some of them say they're all in one, but they're actually all in one room or all in one rack. They're not all in one box like we are. Okay. So there's uh, less uh, points of failure in, in the system, and it's just easier then to install it. It's easier to maintain it. It's easier to deploy it through multiple locations because all you do is take this one box, plug it into to the network, and you're off and running. Very cool. Right. Now, like Rackspace has a sizable office in London. Uh, our headquarters is in San Antonio. We have a pretty good office out here in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Uh, how many boxes would we need for that kind of network? And uh, how, how many users do you have? Uh, 4,000. 4, 4,000. Uh, well, e- each box runs 250 users. Ah, okay. okay. So we so need to partition it. So there's t- so, so 2,500 or 3,000 people in uh, so San Antonio. Yes, yeah, so, so you'd have 12 boxes at, okay. at that point. You know, And I mean, I'll give you an idea. We have some companies that you're probably familiar with in, in the Valley, and that's uh, SonicWall. Yeah. Familiar with Son- SonicWall? Uses our systems. They have uh, one in uh, Bangalore, Taiwan, uh, Santa Clara. Where's the other one? <laughs> somewhere, somewhere, somewhere in in, in the Asia area yep. uh, is the fourth location, and and they have them all tied together, back to California, and they want to make a call to each other. It's just a network call. It doesn't cost them a dime to make a call. Oh, that's uh, interesting. Yeah. So that, so it saves that, you on your telecom costs. Exa- too. Exactly. Reduces all that cost. Uh, another company in the Valley, Provident Funding which is one of the largest, uh, it is the largest non-bank uh, mortgage banker uh, in North America. They have 70 locations throughout the U.S. and one in Europe that's using our systems all over. Now, can workers get a phone that hooks into your system as well? Yep, exactly. So, uh, you know, that looks like a desktop, desktop phone. Yeah, no, they, they can actually uh, have an actual desktop phone. What kind of phone do they need to make? Uh, it's a SIP, SIP-based phone. Okay. So uh, our system is pure SIP system, so uh, more or less any SIP standard phones will plug into it as well. We have our own phones that you can buy as well. Yeah. So uh, they have more capabilities than some of the normal SIP phones as well. More uh, like the typical old type desktop phone that has all the normal feature capabilities. Does it do the standard stuff like uh, if a call comes into my desk and I'm not there or I'm doing this interview and I can't take the call? Does it turn that voicemail into a text in my uh, email client? Absolutely. All the all the good stuff. Visual, what call visual voicemail? Yeah. So you can go in there and see it. Absolutely, absolutely does. Very that. cool. So, uh, you can forward that voicemail to multiple people. I mean, one of the things it does, like in a tech support environment, if somebody leaves a voicemail uh, for after hours and it needs to get escalated, so it can go to you 
And if you don't respond to that escalation, it can go to another level and then go multiple different levels until somebody answers that voicemail and, and takes it and then acts on it and supports that end user. So is this good for call centers? Then? Absolutely great. Okay. For, it's, it's, it's not good for call centers, it's great for call centers. Great. Okay. We have a tremendous amount of flexibility, especially if you're a supervisor in a call center, we have a screen that we call SuperView. And what happens in SuperView is it gives a call center supervisor or call center manager the ability to see every queue and every group within it. So if you have uh, multiple levels of tech support, we'll say, you have tech support level one, you can see all the agents in that group, what their status is, how long they've been on the call. You can take calls, move them into different groups from the supervisor screen, just tremendous flexibility. In this. All right, so I'm gonna show this video to the guys who run our uh, call centers, because we, we have lots of people on the phone helping customers, that's what we do. We have fanatical support, right? And uh, fanatical support means people's answering phones. <laughs> right, 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 right. Exactly, and, right. And, that, and that's what this does, is it help improve the customer service levels as Got you it. get there. Very cool. Great. Uh, where do I learn more about it? Uh, go to Zultus.com, Z-U-L-T-Y-S dot com and everything's on there or you can call our offices very cool yeah. well thanks for coming out and giving me a little taste of what's going on in your business appreciate your time thank you